Hey y'all, welcome back to Sydney's Little Corner. So if you're new here, welcome. Click that little subscribe button down below. Don't worry, you won't bite. Doing so, you'll be able to see this face every Friday because who doesn't want to see this face every Friday? I'm my beauty girl, Kendall so let's go ahead and jump into this video. All right, so if you guys were wondering, my face is already pre-done for this week and next week, and I will link that video in both videos down below in the description bar for you guys to see how I do my full face routine are and if y'all are wondering I am wearing my two new lip colors it is a lip crown and NYX simply nude in color 04 and then the NYX lingerie in color lace detail so those are the lip combo that I'm wearing today and I am wearing a very simple natural eye, which I did uh, make it more dramatic with a wing and lashes, which y'all will see that video next Friday. So keep an eye out for that. As you can tell by the title, I am doing my current collection of lipsticks that I have for 2016. So if you're interested to see what those are, then stay tuned. Alright, so I have my clean lips, and I do apologize if they are kind of torn and gross. I do have the worst lips in the world. I always tend to bite them and pick at them and I don't know why. I guess it's just a stress thing but I always do and they always look gross so I just wanted to apologize for that. Um, if you don't like gross looking lips, I try to doctor them and moisturize them as much as possible but they always just get cracked and I always pick at them. But these are pretty much all that I own except for two, which I received from a Walmart subscription box and then an Etsy or Birchbox, can't remember. But the majority of them I own and the majority of them I love and I just love the brands. But yep, let's go ahead and jump into the first brand. Alright, so the first brand that I have is CoverGirl and I have three CoverGirl lipsticks. This one is 245 Honeyed Bloom and it is a very pale pink and I am in love with it and I love CoverGirl. I will always go back to the CoverGirl lipsticks and then the Maybelline mascaras just because they're my favorite. But let's go ahead and see how it applies. Alright, so this is CoverGirl 245 Honeyed Bloom. Love the formula, it's very soft, creamy, and I am in love with this color. It is a blushed nude pink, and it is super pretty, and it pretty much goes with anything. So that's why I went for a neutral eye today, so that way all these colors can go with it. Alright, next color is, again, by CoverGirl. It is a 380 Yummy Pink. And this is a color that I bought that I thought was super pretty, but it's kind of different whenever you apply it. Let's see. It's definitely a lot lighter than what you would expect for the color that it gives off. This is like a very pretty like Easter color. So this is CoverGirl 380 Yummy Pink. And it is very, very light pink, more like a carnation pink. Again, the formula slash texture is very soft and creamy, and I like it. It's just a little bit too soft for me. But All right, next cover girl is 390 Sweetheart Lush. And whenever I picked this up, I picked it up because it was very interesting. I don't know if you can tell, but it is actually metallic. But I don't know what to think about this one. I kind of like putting this over a pink to where it gives it kind of a metallic uh, coat. This is CoverGirl 390 Sweetheart Blush and it is very metallic. I picked it up because I saw that it was metallic. Uh, how long was it? It was a while ago. I can't, I can't think. I have a terrible memory. I don't know. Again, I don't know what to think about this one, but it definitely looks like I just kissed a unicorn. Next one is Milani, and it is the 62 Matte Blissful, and I am actually very obsessed with the Milani formulas. 
and the Milani brand. I am obsessed with the Milani brand. Um, it kind of looked more pink in the packaging, but it's more of a muted purple on your lips, and I do love that it goes on creamy and then it dries matte. I do love matte. I am obsessed with matte, and so I do like that, and I do love the Milani brand, and I do want to pick up more um, Milani products, like the new Milani metallic lippies. I really, really so let me know down below if you guys want to see that if I could try to pick up a couple and see if I can find them because I know that they're pretty much sold out everywhere here at least because I've been trying to find them all right next is Maybelline it is 450 mauve and I've had it for a while just because everything is uh, worn off but I picked this up whenever the whole Kylie Jenner craze was going on and as you can tell I am almost out of it just because I do love that Kylie Jenner lip and it is, uh, I don't know, it's very mauve-y, mauve, it is mauve, uh, that's what the name is, but I like it, and it's super cute. This is the Kylie Jenner-esque mauve uh, Maybelline lipstick, and Maybelline and Caliber Girl have very similar formulas, and it's very creamy and it applies well and I love the color and again it looks great with this eye look but yeah very pretty I love it all right next one is Bella Pierre cosmetics it is p-i-n-k lipstick I got this either in ipsy or birch box I don't know I don't wear it a whole ton um, I'm not a huge fan of the scent it smells fake I don't know more of like a raspberry than a purple or pink it's definitely a lot creamier a lot creamier than the covergirl and maybelline lipsticks and even milani a lot more creamier and i don't know if this really counts as a high-end or a drugstore because i've never really looked up the brand but it says bella pierre so i assume it's high-end just because it has an asterisk but who knows i don't know i put it under drugstore hmm. I don't know. I think I might wear this more in the summer because I do love the color. I do love the color. I think it's grown on me. Alright, next color is the Revlon HD 875 Glottalus. It's this very uh, light red and I'm not a fan that the uh, lipstick is very wide and not really skinny and thin because it's kind of a wider surface which it's okay with my lips since my lips are kind of big Gosh, I'm so raw. anyway but it's a very light red and but I love it it's very very creamy more creamy than the other ones that I've tried so far and I'm a sucker for the red lips and this lip is perfect for date night look and uh, it's super slays but. all right next Revlon color is 720 fire and ice Ooh, I love that name it is a darker red than the last one this color I do grab more whenever I am wanting to do a red lip that is creamy just because this is more of a blue tone than the last one which is more of an orange tone but I do love the more blue tone red lipsticks and the orange toned I am in love with this color. It is super pretty. But yeah, I love it. <sighs> All right, so now we will jump into the high-end lipsticks that I have. I do have less high-end lipsticks than the uh, drugstore ones that I have just because um, I kind of go to the drugstore more for lipsticks. And then I kind of buy more high-end for liquid lipsticks. Kind of just how I am. But let's go ahead and jump into the high-end for lipsticks. And we will start out with 
Marc Jacobs. I believe I purchased this with my points that I have at Sephora and it is 216 Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Oh, I love that name. I don't know, some of these lipsticks, I don't even look at the name and like they're like the best names in the world. I like love this name. But it looks more of a mauve color. Mm-hmm, definitely mauve. That creaminess though is like so real. It like glides on the lip. Alright, so this is again Marc Jacobs in 216 Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. But it's more of a Kylie Jenner-esque lipstick. Very, very creamy whenever you apply. It just kind of glides on the lip as you apply. Super pretty. And whenever I run out of this, I will definitely be buying a full size because I do like this, but it definitely does compare to the 450 uh, Maybelline Mauve Mania. They're definitely very, very similar colors. So I'm going to do a little swatch on my hand to show you how similar they are. All right, so these two colors are almost identical. This is the Maybelline Color Sensual Mauve Mania, and then this is the Marc Jacobs. Uh, 216 Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and they are both mauve Kylie Jenner-esque lipstick colors and they are very very similar and they kind of have the same texture they're very creamy they're easy to apply on the lip they just kind of glide on but I love it super pretty so next for my lipstick collection for the high-end part is the YSL Rouge Per Couture and it is a 13 and these are two coral colors that I purchased last summer and this is more of the red coral and then the other one that I have is more of a coral coral so I will show you both of those but this is definitely more of my high-end purchase ones the YSL brand don't know why I wanted YSL but I really wanted the Rouge Per Couture and I love how it says YSL on the lipstick. And I love the smell of these. These just smell expensive. This is the creamiest formula that I've applied so far. Again, it is the YSL Rouge Per Couture in 13. And this is more of a red coral. It's just perfect for summer, and I am just obsessed with it. All right, next YSL from the Rouge Per Couture is the number 36, and this is more of the coral coral, and it says YSL, which is almost wiped off just because I've used this more. Again, very creamy, and I love it. Again, this is YSL Rouge Per Couture in 36 and I'm obsessed with this color but this is definitely the lightest color that I kind of have as in you know reds but this is a pure coral color and I am obsessed with it and I totally actually forgot about my two YSLs that I have because I kind of have them shoved in the back of my drawer but now that it's summer I'm definitely pulling these out again because um, I love these colors, but I don't want to run out of them because they're so expensive. Yeah, I do love this color. Super creamy. Very, very, very uh, scented. Very perfume scented. But I love it. Alright, for my last three high-end shades that I have, these are more of my extravagant slash fall colors. So we first have the NARS Scarlet Empress. I love this color for fall. It is very vampy. But again, this is my NARS Scarlet Empress, and I love the color. Definitely not as creamy. It's very, very thick, for sure. But I love it, and I know I suck at applying lipstick. I've just applied so much. I'm just so tired of applying lipstick, so I'm sorry if it's, like, very jagged. It's very a dark berry, not really vampire-esque, 
berry or dark, but it's definitely a dark berry for sure. But I like it, and I can't wait to wear this for fall. So next color is MAC, and it is dark side, but this is definitely my vampy color. This is probably more of my go-to in the fall, but it kind of looks like I kissed a vampire. But again, this is MAC Dark Side, and it is one of my, this is like my absolute favorite go-to fall colors, faux show, and I know it was kind of messy when I applied it, so I'm sorry. I love it. Super, super, super creamy. This is definitely the creamiest that I've done so far, and of course, you know, whenever you do, you blot a little bit. This one doesn't ever transfer. If it does transfer, it does transfer a little bit on my chin. I don't know, I've always had the problem of transferring lipsticks onto the bottom of my chin area. It's just something I've always dealt with, but most of the lipsticks do do that since they are creamy, but um, you can always set them with a powder and then they won't go anywhere, so they won't transfer. I do love this color for sure. This is one of my favorite vampy colors. This one looks like I definitely kissed a vampire. All right, last color. Ooh, this is like my favorite packaging ever. It is Kat Von D, and it is my Studded Kiss Lipstick in Slayer. I love the name, I love the packaging, oh, I just love Kat Von D, and you may have guessed it, it is black. Sydney, I know I asked myself this question last time, why do you have a black lipstick? Well, I did do a Halloween look with Harley Quinn, and I did black lips. And I did purchase both the matte liquid lipstick and the lipstick bullet both in the same color because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the look and I had the money at the time so I bought both of them and uh, I definitely do want to do a look around black. I just love black. I have been so obsessed with black. As you can tell I always wear black shirts and I just love black so much. It's like my favorite color. And a weird scent to it. Alright, so this is my Kat Von D Slayer lipstick and it is my last lipstick of my lipstick collection that I have to show y'all. Um, these are like my, my only lipsticks that I currently own. And I can always do an updated next year if I do accumulate more, which I'm sure I will. But I thought I would end it with a, a kiss from Darth Vader. I do love this color and I love the uh, matte lip with lipstick of it for show. And I'm sorry, I could clean up around my mouth because it's super red, you know, from taking off all the lipsticks that I've done today. But Ain't nobody got time for that, and I have to be done in five minutes for dinner. So, but yeah, this is my last lipstick, and I'm in love with it. Definitely not as creamy. It's definitely the thickest formula of all the lipsticks that I've tried on today, but I love it. Mm, I definitely do want to do a tutorial kind of near the fall um, with a black lip and a very, very dark, vampy eye. Let me know if you guys want to see that, because I definitely want to film it. And if you guys don't tell me, I'm still going to film it. So just keep an eye for that for the fall. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. Like always, I hope you have a great day or night, wherever you may be. And I shall see you all next Friday. Bye. It's not really a purple. It's not really a pink. It's kind of a pink alt. Pink alt. Perink. Perink. I don't know. It's the combination of purple and pink, so whatever that ship name would be. Um, I think it would be called Pink Up. Pink Up. Like a burp. Pink Up. Rouge Per Couture. And I this. My dad definitely just yelled at the TV. I am in love with this lip color. Mm.